what's going on everybody today i just want to go over this this lick um that i've been using and i think it'd be helpful we're going to do it in the key of c and this is um basically for talk music and high praise and we'll go over all of it here and um real quick i'll just show you what it is here so let's check it out basically just like that i do it one more time maybe i'll change the drawbar settings give it a different feel to it so just one something like that and like if somebody's in the background just you know you in worship so it's like say hallelujah something like that you know and you could change it up the way you want to but that that's the base of the lick so really quick here we'll just go through the chords and i'm just going to spell everything out here so it's it's one Two, three, four, five, and back to one. Okay. So the one is um, your C, your C chord. You know. So um, let's just do the basic one, because in worship you don't really want to be doing. So, um, or you can if you want to, but uh, C bass, this is our one, and then the chord is, the chord I'm doing is this inversion of the C. I added two in there, so we got E, C, D, E, G, okay, R2, all right, R2 is on the D bass. Okay, and that chord is D on the bass, F um, on the right hand, G, B, D, G. Okay, and then our three is the same chord from the one, but we're on the E bass. So we're on a three, which is E in the bass. Okay, same chord from the one. The C chord with the add to two, and then our four. Okay, we hammer off this G to the A, a flat, then go from there to the B flat. Then we change the chord in this left hand to a diminish, a D diminish, and then we go off this B flat to the B, and then from there you change the entire chord, including the bass, to your five. Okay. So I just wanted to explain that before we break it down because it's a lot of movements between that four and that five. Okay, so back to the four. So that chord on the four, our four is the F in the bass. So you can add that G in there too. But actually, um, I, I'm gonna show you without it because the G is up here. So. F in the bass on the four, D, F, A flat, C, and then G up top. So we're doing this chord with our left hand, and up top with our right hand, we're, we're chain, you know, we're, we're kind of doing some sort of melody here. You start on the G, A flat, B flat, okay, and then that B. Is an entirely different chord change, but we're still on the four. So this chord is a deep diminish. And then we add the B up top and the bottom. So D, F, A flat, B. And the four is still, we're still on F. So you're holding that F down entirely through these chord changes in this melody. And once you hit this last diminished note with the B, 
you resolve on that five um, on, with the C chord. Okay? So that is C over G. So over G, our G is the bass, and the chord that's over the G is the C chord. Okay? So C chord, E, G, C. And then, you know, we, we have the C up top. So then we have to tra uh, transition into just this other, this other voicing of C. Okay? And I'll just finish this lick out here, then we'll break that down. I let go of the foot on the bass because I don't want to hold that G down with this F because we get a muddy sound and I don't want that. So I let go of that, that G and then I go back to C on the bass like that. So before I break that down, let's just go through all of it really quick just to hear how it sounds here. Just like that. Now for that ending part, we're on a five. We hold that down the entire time until we let go and then go to C. So in the midst of that, we're doing C, G, G, F, F, C, C, G, G, then we let go on the F, 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 back home. Okay? So, so this voicing is C, G, E. Next one, we're still holding that G bass down. Next chord is a G chord, which is in this instance, a B, G, D. The other chord is a G different version of it. G, D, B. Okay, and then we move to the F. Still holding that G bass down. F chord is A, F, C. Next one is this the same chord, just a different version. F, C, A. Then F C chord. E, C, G. Another C chord. C, G, E. G chord. We're still holding that G down on that foot. B, G, D, another G chord, G, D, B. We let go on this F, okay? A, F, C, last F chord, F, C, A. And that's our final chord. We're done. And then we push the bass on the C again on our one. Okay, there's our bass. And then that chord is C chord. And the voicing of this one is C, G, E, C. It's a lot to take in, but master it in every key. And you will sound really amazing. And it, it changes the sound, man, when you, when you, you know, pull off some jar bars, you know. skip that last F and go straight there you you don't have to do the entire one you can you can stop out at any time so one more time okay just like that let's take it up a uh, key Like that i hope you guys enjoyed that um if you like licks like 
like me to do, you know, just little licks and, you know, runs and riffs and stuff like that, I can do those videos too. You know, I'm taking a break, uh, just a quick break from the, uh, um, you know, the progressions video. Give you guys some time to, you know, practice it. I'm telling you, if you practice all these all these videos, you'll be able to do, so, so, so far we did seven, three, six, two, five, five, just, we just went over that one, you know, and then resolve, basically, I, if you go over the videos, we, we, I basically taught all of that. I taught that too. Mix it up a little bit. You know, and then of course I got preaching chords in there. So, you know, just keep keep sticking around and man, you're gonna you're gonna master, you're gonna know all I know and then you could take it further and then you could be teaching teaching me stuff. Make your own YouTube, you know. So um give a like, uh subscribe. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Um, until next time, we'll see you later.